Hey folks, this is Jim. In my personal opinion, the U.S. is provoking China. That's my personal opinion. And here's why. First, China tells us don't send Pelosi, we send Pelosi. Right after we send Pelosi and China's all saber rattling and all that stuff, we send in a bunch of governors from states to have a business party over there and make deals. So then that's over and China's still uh, complaining and PO'd. So while all that's going on, tensions are high. We send two naval warships right down the heart of the Taiwan Strait, basically giving China the bird and daring them to fire a shot. Okay. Then after that, TSMC's board basically told China to pack sand. They're not going to get any advanced chips. Everybody's known this anyway. Taiwan Semiconductor is actually going to start manufacturing their 7 and 5 mil chip, nanometer chips, sorry, NM, in the U.S. So it's part of all this CHIPS Act, okay? The microchip industry has been controlled all along, folks, okay? What Germany, I mean, what Russia has for its S-400 batteries, this great system that's being just obliterated, um, is one or two generations or three generations behind what the U.S. military is getting. Why? The military has always gotten all the advanced chips first before the public even knows about them, okay? So this has gone on since the beginning. You know, if you're in the chip industry, you know that. Okay, so TSMC's board basically told China to FO, which that means TSMC is one of the largest corporations in Taiwan, that Taiwan is basically telling China FO at the same time. Okay, then right after that, there's a ban on all new uh, 7 and 5 mil, 5 NM, sorry, 7 and 5 NM lithography equipment will not even get into China. Okay, it's not going to be allowed. It's already been done. Okay, all these companies are controlled by the West. Okay, so, uh, but China's um, tech minister. A long time ago, this was almost 18 months ago, in the meet, meet, the heart of COVID, uh, said that they didn't need to go beyond 14 nanometers anyway. So this has all been known that this was coming and that China was going to be left behind technologically. Okay, And China believed they didn't need it. All right. Then right after that, okay, the... U.S. announces a 1.1, with everything going on, we announce a $1.1 billion defense weapons contract with Taiwan. Okay? I mean, if this isn't blatantly it pissing them off, all in a two-week span, folks, this has been taking place. Then after that, I mean, it's bad enough there... Then after that, there's a ban on, ban on all next-gen microchips going into um, China. That's why you see the chip sector low. I think the chip sector is going to be a great buy for certain companies that are heading into modernization involved with the CHIPS Act. And I'll tell you why in a little while or in another video. Okay, now after all this has taken place, all this provocation, all this telling them to piss off and sailing those two warships right down the heart of the Taiwan Strait, daring them to take a shot. Taiwan last night shot down a Chinese drone, spy drone. Just said, do it again. And that's, I believe, what their reply was to China. Do it again. <laughs> so, folks, I'm not saying there's going to be a war because I'm not a fear porn guy. But what I am saying is, whoa. I think we had a little bit to do with what was going on in Ukraine too, right? Europe, EU, US, others might have been involved in some of that crap. I don't know. We are involved in the whole conflict, aren't we? So now here we have Taiwan basically flipping China off publicly. And this has to be humiliated, humiliating for Xi Jinping. Okay? So... I don't know, folks. I'm not saying where this is going or this or that or the other thing. But we have over a two-week period done thing after thing after thing after thing after thing. China warned us not to do. We just did it in two weeks. It's not like we did things slowly over time. 
As soon as they said, don't do this, we did it. Everything they said, don't do in two weeks. Whoa. What do you think's up with that? Write in, let me know. Like, subscribe. Uh, tell me what your thoughts on are all this, but, uh, whoa, hang on. That's why I'm 95% cash. I just, I don't know how this world is going to go over the next six months until it does. You know what I mean? As soon as we get through all this crap, hopefully without wars, but who knows, right? So anyway, write in, let me know what you're thinking about all this. I am positive we are provoking China. But you tell me what you think, what your feelings are, and what your observations have been. Anyway, like, subscribe, if you will. And, uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Hope you're all doing well. Stay prepared. Preppers don't make excuses. Preppers get it done. Preppers don't sit around and whine. Preppers get into action. Hope you're all doing well. We are the one in ten. Be strong. Be prepared. Jim out.